This video is to help you get started in Mapline. To create a map, click on the new map icon on the side. Title the map whatever you want. And here it is. To add pins to my map, select layers, dataset pins. Since I'm adding a new one, I want to select new dataset. Again, I can title it whatever I want. Here's where I copy and paste my data from Excel. Let's look at that. Here, I have my locations, address, city, state, and postal code, so address stuff. After that, though, I have customer segment, if it's passive or aggressive, sales, if they're high, medium, or low, some contact information, the name of the store manager, and annual sales. As long as I have something address related, I can put anything else in the columns. To add this information to Mapline, I highlight it and copy it and then I paste it in the box in Mapline. Done! There they are. I can click on any of the pins to see the data, and if I need to edit it, I can click the edit down in the bottom left corner, which allows me to change any of the information or even drag the pin if I need to place it somewhere else. Top left corner, I have maps, data, and other navigational tools to help me get around. I also have a menu, which lets me rename the map, create a new map, share the map, or save the current zoom position, or even change my units from miles to kilometers. Next to the name, I have a bunch of other options, which include being able to change the marker, add on labels, cluster the pins together, create a coverage map, create a bubble heat map, turn on filters, much like in Excel, or to edit the data if I need to add locations to my list. On top left, I also have a draw pad. This lets me draw lines onto the map, draw custom shapes onto the map, draw rectangles, or draw radius circles of a given distance. I can also change the color and style of the shapes. To change the color and style of the map, there's three different options over in the right hand corner, Original, Bright, and MapQuest. To add a territory overlay such as a zip code or county or state boundaries, I'd select the territory overlay feature and follow the steps. And that should get you started in Mapline. Please watch the other videos to give you a more in-depth view of the features. And good luck!